Meet the Puptuals. Three girls, no relation, but they're still sisters. They are non-stop energy, love toys, love love, and can't get enough ice cubes. When it comes to breakfast and dinner, they wolf down their food and then lick each other's bowls. When we eat dinner, they need to have a chewy, and when we've run out of chewies, they demand a different kind of goody. They have a vast backyard to do their bidding, especially when it comes to squirrels, their secret friends. Meet Nigra, Rabel, and Fanalina, or as we call them, the girls. Steph went to Muncie, Indiana, to look for a beautiful Shetland sheepdog to call her own. When she arrived at the house where a box contained a bunch of furry little puppies, she greeted them all, but one of them waited in the corner. Once all the puppies had their way, the littlest one walked over to Steph and put her tiny paw on her leg. Steph knew that this was her newest friend. Meet Nigra. Her name was taken from the substantia nigra, the part of the brain which is black and is responsible for dopamine production. Degeneration of the pigmented neurons in this region is the principal pathology that underlies Parkinson's disease. We often refer to her as the Nigra, a beast in nature that is mostly human with a few shelty touches that works on saving the world in our backyard. As of now, she is working to abolish illiteracy. When it is sunny out, we ask her if it is a beautiful Nigra day. When she's away from home and she begins to whine at us, we ask her if she wants to go back to Nigra's house. She despises the mailman, one true touch of dog in her, and she likes to use her teeth to herd the other two dogs around the house. She can speak in different languages, rolling her R's quite efficiently and can wink at you. She pours out her soul through her eyes. They can be flirty or very annoyed and she will let you know, especially if she has to roll those R's. And for special celebrations, she gets to wear ribbons. Ravel wasn't planned. While Steph was on the way to a laundromat to wash our bed comforter, cars honked at a golden-like retriever. Steph drove past it, felt bad for the poor dog, and then turned the car around. Forget washing the comforter, she was going to save that dog, or at least that was the plan. She pulled over to the side of the road, and after ten minutes of coaxing, the golden-like retriever finally came to Steph. She climbed into the back of the black stratus, and Steph took her to the vet. After a heartworm shot, the removal of burrs from her fur, a bath in our tub, and the longest dog nap on our couch, Rabel slowly became our second dog. We searched for owners. I put an ad out in the Anderson paper, but when we took a trip down to Virginia last summer, we got her hooked up with her latest shots, and that was the point of no return. She was ours, a true rescue dog. Occasionally, Rabel, named after the she street Steph found her on, will feel an itching in her soul. I feel like getting out for a walk, she'll think, and somehow she will com contort her way through our fence and escape, taking free reign of the streets close to our house, but we will bring her home and she is grateful. Recently, she has become a playful in her old age of seven, or eight, or nine, or however old she is. All I know is that we just celebrated her second Rabelversary. Because two medium to large dogs weren't enough, I asked Steph if we could get a third. After a month-long rendezvous with the Drac Russell terror that began to attack Steph and the other two, we took her back to her previous home and looked online again and found that a ten-month-old puppy needed a home. We drove up to Kokomo, Indiana, played with the spotted one for ten minutes, and put her in the beetle and brought her home. This is Fanalina, and she is more than we bargained for. She is the baby girl, and since Nigra protects us from danger, Fauna knows she doesn't have to work as hard. Instead, she continues to work on her skittishness and her neurotic tendencies. Most recently, she must always have ice cubes. She will bark only once at you to let you know. When she has her bowl filled, gathers a mouthful, brings them to the living room rug, and munches on them like a snack. She also cannot sit still, walks all over us whenever we sit on the couch, cannot sit still, constantly moans at us, cannot sit still, always has a toy in her mouth. She seems to have a blank stare that makes her brain think, and wags her tail so hard it makes us all wince. But when her eyes are filled with emotion, or what we call puppy eyes, she is the cutest, and at night she snuggles and finally becomes still. But when Steph's alarm goes off, she's up and ready for the day again. The girls would go everywhere with us if they could. They visit pet smarts, they love to go on walks, 
and for rides in the car, and do a fabulous job playing with each other. There is never a dull moment with the puptuals, and they continue to inspire a comic strip of the same name.